Hmm? Okay. You can trust the saint. I don't care what you're talking about. I don't care who stole what or who did what. You can trust the saint. I'm talking about a sanctified person. You can trust him. I, I'm going to say this and I'm going to kick it and go ahead on. But if you steal something, that ain't got nothing to do with us. I, I, I can't denounce everybody because you stole something. Somebody living for God. Somebody ain't stealing. Amen. Glory to God. You can't put everybody in the same category. If that's the case, then you ain't you can't trust nobody. How can you not trust us when we down here and you trust God and you ain't down here? How you trusting him? You gonna trust him for a little bit and then after a while. See, my thing is we wanna see everything. We want God to come and tell us everything and how he's gonna do everything. I wanna know how you gonna do this, God. When are you going to do it? And when can I expect it? <laughs> See, God, God, God said, if thou could believe, all things are possible to them that believe. Hmm? Anything is, it's a possibility anything can take place in your life miraculous if you believe. But if you don't believe, you got to tell him like that man say, Lord, help thou my unbelief. Amen. All right. First Corinthians 7 to 15. But if the unbelieving depart, let him depart. A brother or a sister is not under bondage in such cases. Is that First Corinthians 7 to 15? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, that's domestic. That's a domestic problem. Yeah. Now, you know, we... A lot of folks teach marriage like this, that once you get married, that's it. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, if, if, you don't, if, if your husband or your wife hold on, then, then you just have to stay with it. Mm -hmm. That's not the Bible. Yeah. I, got, I, got a, I got a lesson coming up on marriage, and we're going all the way from the back, from the Old Testament all the way back to, all the way to, and why? God told Moses to write to build a divorcement in the first place. So you got to go from step one and then bring it right on down. Amen. But see, a lot of people say, well, you got to stay with them. They beating your head. I tell them this, go over there and take that with them a couple of days. You, 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 you be out of there. Go over there and let him put on your head about three or four days, yes. and then you come back and tell us what the results is. Yes. <laughs> See, a lot of people I get messed up because of teaching. Hmm? There's some pastors who not rightly dividing the word of truth, and they got folks in bondage. Huh? The Bible said, what well, God has drawn together, let no man pin a sin. But you might have married before you got sanctified, and you married, and God didn't put y'all together because you, you got it because you had some money. Uh -huh. well, now, God, God didn't put you together. God ain't put these sisters together. No. These men. No. Huh? No. You see, God ain't putting them together. No, sir. And God didn't put you together with some of these folks. No. That was your choice. Amen. Sometimes people marry people because they got something. That's true. And you foolish if you marry somebody ain't got nothing. Something wrong with you. Because love ain't going to pay not one bill. You make love all day long and then bills keep coming in and after a while you're going to be sitting outside. See, we got to understand what God joined together. See, God ain't joining everybody together. Because you go down there and preach it and to, the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the priest and he, he reads the, 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 the vows. That don't mean God joining you together. That's right. God joined together, people together through love. Love this. It's love, number one. If it's not love, God ain't in. It can't be because they got a good job. It can't be because they got a good position. It can't be because of this or that or the 
they got a lot of abundance of things, it's got to be number one, it's got to be low. Amen. And he ain't joining no sickness and no laughing together. Well, you said love. He ain't joining them together. That's not love. That's a fatuation. And the fatuation is so close to love. Amen. See, fatuation is something that you feel. It's not there. It comes and goes. Amen. It comes and goes. Huh? Amen. Some folks are like, I love you. Why aren't you mad? That was 100 years ago when you said that you ain't mad. You don't really know. You just thought you did. Come on, man. I used to tell women I love them. Oh, I love you. I love you. Been mad for something. And I ain't looking for nothing else. Come on, man. I got me somebody. I, don't, I can't speak for nobody but me. I got me somebody. I, I can't hold nobody else's thing or tell you about nobody, but I got me somebody. Yeah. All right. But God had called us to peace. Now, God had called us to peace, and if your marriage is on the rocks, see, some people get saved. Get sanctified and get married and things start off. Good. You can't let no third party be in your marriage. Your mama, your granddaddy, your uncle, your sisters, your brothers. You can't let nobody in your marriage. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And then when you say you sanctified them, we're supposed to honor our wives. Come on, man. We ain't supposed to treat them like dirt. Amen. 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 If I treated my wife like that, she wouldn't be with me. Well, we started off kind of rough because I wasn't saved when we first got it. It's kind of rough deal, man, because I, I wasn't right. <laughs> and, uh, but later on. <laughs> Amen. So we have to treat people right. I'm, 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 I'm going to say something. How many of us take our wives to nice places? Right. Come on, nice places. <laughs> Not the little McDonald's or the drive through. Come on, here. Right. When the last time you told your wife to dress up, come on, baby, and, and then tell her, name your place. <laughs> Ask my wife. I tell my wife, I said, name your place, baby. Where you going? I ain't name nothing. Go ahead. Where you want to go? I put, put some money inside. I said, come on. You couldn't make her leave me. <laughs> you know why? Because I'm good. I'm like the Bible said. Bible said, love your wife like Christ loved the church. And gave yourself for her. Do you know sometimes we have to give ourselves for our wife? And our wife got to be doing what she's supposed to be doing. Now, come on. Now. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> she ain't supposed to be no, no, no obsessive with money. Mm -hmm. When you get born again, you get some sense. Spend all this money and save yours. <laughs> well, you can do that. They put that money away, don't let you know nothing. Stash it and be, 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 be all fired off from you. And then, then, then they get some money and borrow from you. They, they, they ain't gonna pay you back with borrow five dollars from them. Hey, you remember that bag you got from me? They want their money back. You know I'm telling the truth. I ain't been with no woman all these years. Don't know what. All right, y'all. Hey, man, swag down. All right. See, the man in the house, he initiates the peace because he is the stronger vessel. Mm -hmm. He's going to be the head, right? Mm -hmm. Now, 
if he ain't the head, what is it? Hmm? You see what I mean? This is the reason why it's so important that when men get in church, they get taught how to be a husband. Some folks say, I don't want nobody telling me how to be no husband. Well, your stuff is going down the river. Yeah, you know, so I just need to tell you something. Do you know, I'm, I'm going to say something. I know I'm telling you, you can make a woman love you to death. But you got to do, you got to know how. Amen. Mm. Amen. Most folks say, I know how, but why she ain't loving you to death? Something wrong with that picture. Right. I can't. My wife want to go everywhere I go. When I hit that door, she got up for me. And listen to this, I wanted to go. Come on here. Yeah. Hey, 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 where I go, I wanted to go. Amen. All right, let's read. I get off that car. <laughs> and when the last time you gave us some money? Oh. And she didn't have to ask you. 